the next and probably the most important part of this uh, part of the job is making sure that the tube that you're going to use is long enough. As you can see, if I take this tube and go down to this end of the bar, move this back a little bit, go down to this end of the bar, if I were to take this tube and put it here, you see, it's much longer than the than the uh, than the distance. Quite a bit longer than the distance. You can see the marks on here where the old tube went. I went right to about there. And if you remember, the tubes on this side they went all the way up to the edge of the wood. So you'd think that you'd be able to cut this tube to right here, cut off that much, and that would be the length that you'd need. But that's not the way it works. That would be too easy. The right way to do it let me get this lined up a little bit better here. The right way to do it is to take this transposing tracker bar and put it as far this way as it's ever going to be. This is as far as it's going to be that way. And this is as far as it's ever going to be in this direction. And you can see when it's in this direction, these still aren't perfectly lined up because as I said these four on this end aren't used so at the very least the tube is going to have to go from here over to here but even at that you can see that it's that much too long except this is where it's actually going to be resting is right over here when the adjuster is all the way to the right so that tube is going to have to go all the way from here all the way over to here and to do that you have to put a little bend in there a nice gentle bend so that it's not stretching and then you can go ahead and see where it's supposed to be and you can go ahead and clip it at that spot right there. hope my arm isn't getting in the way. And that's how long the longest piece is going to be. And that's going to go right onto here. And you see it has a nice gentle bend nice smooth bend. When it comes over to this position if I get this to cooperate with me there it goes now it's, now it's as far over as it's going to be this way and you see it doesn't it doesn't cause the, the tubing to collapse or anything like that But there's no strain on the tube when it's all the way over for over in this side. You got to remember when you're talking about 80 pieces of tubing across here, if every one of these were to stretch just a little tiny bit, it would be really difficult to get the adjuster to move all the way to one side or the other. And on top of that, one of the things that we found out over many years in this business is that any time that you take a rubber tube and you stretch it, to, uh, for any reason whatsoever, stretch that piece of tubing, it's not going to last as long. It must have something to do with the polymers or the chemicals that are inside of the tubing, but any time that you stretch a piece of tubing, that tubing is going to get harder much faster than a piece of tubing that's not stretched at all. So we're not going to stretch the tubing at all. Once you have that done, once you've decided on your length, 
You go ahead and take this back off. And now you can go ahead. Now you can go ahead and cut yourself 80 pieces of tubing that are exactly this length. And then we'll go on to the next part of the job.